Hello guys. So today I'm making a quick video about how I'm how to build a priest. So here is my little reference for you guys as a king five priest. Hope it helps, and maybe it helps you guys to have an idea what to do when you play as a priest. So right now I will show you about my equipment. My weapon, my talisman, my gloves, and my cards today. So, for here, I will show you. If you have any question, just feel free to drop me a few message in the comments below. Then at least I hope I can try to help you guys in answering question. So for the weapon part, I use a venting sun strike. Why did I choose this? Because of the healing done, crit resist, defense, and the block damage reduction. It is really important for us to have a good defense build while making sure we have enough and sufficient heal for our party members. Why defense build is important? Well, we are kind of a mage in a certain way. We are really squishy. So in order to sustain and stay alive to continue supporting our party mate or squad mate during the wolves in war, we have to make sure we survive. So that's why I think it is really important to make sure we have enough block damage reduction and crit resist especially against ninja the strong dps power classes so here i will also show you i'm using this four weapon card trisha godly sakura nerita and raccoon why did i choose these four cards for trisha and godly sakura they are range type of weapon card so it helps me to create distance instead of having a close combat especially during revelation trail and war so i try to survive a bit more while staying away and narifa and raccoon is quite for good for the close combat so now we move to the federal claw my glove card as you can see it has healing done block chance and block damage reduction and it is also to increase my heal while trying to increase my survival so originally its name is called wild smash as level 60 and now i use live my friend to show you when it is level 70 it is called a Death Claw and subsequently Feral Claw when it is level 80. As you can see the differences is the level 80 will have block damage reduction instead of it is not existent in level 70 Death Claw. Uh, and then as you can see we both use the same set of glove card. We both use Manju, Corruption. Why we use Manju? It's really good for running away in duo if you are the type to want to sneak away and run away from ninja. And 4 is for DPS. Since we lack of DPS power, our damage is so poor. 4 is definitely a great help. Corruption is really useful in Revelation Trail. As we should slow down the AI and Norm. Norm is uh, invincible but it's a tricky card to use especially during the war or duel you have to use it in perfect timing to take that invisible from getting killed and stop the combo from the ninja. It is not easy to use but I will still keep it since it's useful so now i bought life already let's show you the next one 
Now I will show you the breastplate. So for me, I use the follow set. Why? As you can see, the block chance and block damage reduction is also increased the healing done. And the set effect of it is have another extra 10% healing done and extra 8% of block chance. So it makes me a slightly a bit more tanky. Father set is not just good for priest, it's also really useful for the paladin to, to be even tankier. Let me see if I managed to find one that is for level 80 since I'm not yet level 86 to level up my gear. Okay, so. Oh well, it is Shield of Eternal Bill, this one. So you can see the Valor set and the Shield of Eternal Bill differences. The shield is quick damage reduction and reflect rate. While wow, my one has extra healing done, crit resist, and block chance with block damage reduction. It is a good build as well, but for me, I need to make sure I have good healing for my party mate and survival, so I choose Vala Set instead. Alright, so now let's move on to the next one talisman so for my drag gaze the original level 60 talisman is called puppet the puppet talisman it is the one that have crit resist and healing done as well so I try to be consistent in all my gear to have increased the healing done percentage and also defense and crit resist them So for me, the puppet is the best because of the healing done. And as a conservative player, I push and put really a lot of effort in enhancement. As you can see, I'm on plus 16 set already, which I gain extra damage reduction. Okay, now let's move on to the card. So just now I introduced the weapon and gloves card. Now I will show you the armor's one. So as the defense build and healing done build for the priest, these two are really important build for the priest. I have used oak at uh, four oak cards to increase my block chance and defense. And asterisk card. So as you can see, when I will get five percent extra healing done with my asterisk card and HP, extra HP. Other than the asterisk card, it is also really important to have this Venurian card. It's also increase your crit resistance and healing done. You can obtain it from second floor void card dungeon. So as you can see, the best refine I get is I can get extra three percent healing done and four percent extra crit resistance. So other than these two cards, I have the mammal because I, I get extra crit resistance as well and damage which damage is technically related to our M attack and means higher power in healing so other than Tamamo let me see where is it okay there goes our Dexter Dexter is quite all-rounded it, it increased my attack and defense and also HP which I'm pretty unlucky I only get one card hopefully I'll get extra and I have Ella card it is good if you want the evasion build but I think it is more useful if you have all four Ella card put inside your 
gear set to maximize the dodge percentage. If not, it's quite minimal for evasion. So for the Amaterasu, eventually it is best to use it in the Guardian. So keep it. And just now I showed you the uni card is for HP, so I just keep it. Dragon is also very useful because of the defense and reflect rate. I hope it will have a chance to ascend in the future. So I also keep this card, but personally I prefer Oak because of the block chance. I'm a Tamara suit when you have plus 15 and above 5k BL, keep it because you will need it to tuck inside your evolved guardian because the first evolved you will need the 5k BR red card it will be the best to put in so for me I use to Cooper's headwear at the moment because I need both attack and defense instead of the demonic because I don't really live the life still And here it shows I also have the headdress, made headdress because of the healing done. It's just my spare in case any occasions I want to increase my healing done to an even higher percentage. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys find this video useful and know what to do and how to build your priest. Thank you.